Hi, this is JC with Beyond 20. And today we're going to take a look at San Diego's new UI in ServiceNow. Uh, just going to take a brief look at it, won't go very much in depth on it, uh, but just if you've upgraded your system and you're still showing the, the old UI, uh, very similar to what this looks like here, uh, just want to show you where you can go to update that. So it's actually going to be in uh, your system properties. Uh, so sys underscore properties dot list. Uh, you can see I've got favorite here. I've used it quite a bit in my other videos. Uh, and then the property is going to be glide dot ui dot polaris dot experience right here. Once we click on that, all we're going to need to do is change this true false value to true. and update it. Now, right away, we'll see some changes here, right? You can see that the, the list uh, list has kind of changed here. The links themselves have changed. Um, so if I go into, let's go to incidents here. And let's go to service desk incidents. And right here, we can see that the colors have changed as well. Now. I do want to point out this isn't the full UI change. Uh, to get it, what you're going to have to do is log back out or log back in. Uh, or in my case, you have another dev window that's open that already has it up. Um, so we can see it does look kind of quite a bit different, right? In the old UI, we have our application navigator on the left-hand side. New UI, not there. Uh, all of that's going to be up here. We have the all favorites history and workspaces. Uh, similar, we didn't have the workspaces before, but we do have the all favorites in history, all favorites in history. Uh, and it works the same way, right? You've got your filter navigator here. If I wanted to search for incident, um, I can go into all open incidents. The nice thing about this, uh, in my opinion, is it does give you more real estate space. I've never really had a problem with that just because I'm always on an external monitor. However, if I was ever working on just my laptop, this would be a huge advantage. Uh, the color scheme itself, we can see, uh, is, is like we talked about before, it's different here. We can see the critical high, the priorities here really easily. We can see the various links that we can click on a lot easier uh, than before. Uh, previously, these were all just kind of black and just kind of had to know where to click. Now it's pretty easy uh, to know if I click on something, is it a link? Is it going to take me to something or not? Um, we still have the ability here, uh, similar to the old UI, where if we want to change the color, if we click in the white space of it, uh, we can certainly do that. But it's just helpful to know if I clicked here, for instance. If this is an actual link, it's going to bring me to that user, which I expect it to. Let me go back here. If I wanted to go in the incident itself, of course, I would just click the number on it. So the functionality is still very similar, uh, which I appreciate. I don't like necessarily a ton of huge changes, um, but it definitely looks different, right? the survey user here again. So this uh, in San Diego, this is one of the, <laughs> the biggest changes that they have. Uh, did just want to take just a minute to look at it here. Here's all my favorites then. Again, just like I would see it before, the only difference is now they're kind of menu items at the top instead of on the left-hand side, just always there. And then my history. So all in all, uh, I think it's, uh, you can create a favorite here too. That's kind of cool. Uh, all in all, I think it's uh, kind of neat that they're updating it. Uh, like I said, especially the, the major thing here, I think is gonna be um, the, the space here. While you could kind of minimize this on the left-hand side, I never really liked that that much. Um, versus here, you're always gonna have that uh, extra space. 
So the only item here, I guess, is maybe an extra click. But even so, not that bad. Your all favorites, history, and workspaces are going to appear uh, here always. So it's very similar, just kind of a kind of new and updated look to things. And like I said, we don't have that bar. And so we don't have, if you minimize the left side, we don't see that. You still see the bar here once again. You can maximize it very quickly, but so yeah, it's kind of a, a new look and feel uh, overall. Um, color scheme you can obviously see is different as well. Um, so just some uh, just some new items, and and like I said, when we went to that, we just went to uh, I'll sort of my history here. Uh, it's the system properties. And then it's that glide.us, uh, sorry, glide.ui.polaris.experience. Uh, and then just setting that true false field to true. Uh, once again, this is my dev instance. By default, when I upgraded, it was still set to false. Uh, so it is something you'll have to go in and, and then set to true as well. That's all I've got for this video. Thanks and have a great day.